God will take everything that has been a battle and a trial and is beating you down and he'll turn it for your good. He has for my life and now I look forward to every day. So Megan, here we are at House of Hope. So what we'd like to do is uh, I just want you to start back, go back where you need to begin to start your story and then just uh, tell us and we'll go from there. I started being sexually abused at four years old. It went from there into my teen years, into my adult years. Every man I was with sexually abused me. And to get away from the pain of that, at age 12, 13, I started drinking. I went to pain pills. And then from pain pills, when I was 21, I tried heroin for the first time. I overdosed on heroin almost a month after my son turned a year old. I died, was blue. I had to do CPR. Um, I spent three days in ICU, and DSS removed my son from me. Got my son back about a month before I had my daughter. Brooklyn and Driston were with me until Brooklyn was almost seven months old. Started using meth, DSS stepped in, and they took both my children this time, and they informed me that they were going to take my rights to both my children. So in my eyes, I didn't have anything left to live for. So I went head on into my addiction. I was on the streets, living from place to place, from one abusive man to the next, and just, I didn't care if I lived or died anymore. Me and the guy I was with went on a crime spree. And I remember sitting there and praying, God, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. And the next morning, we went on a high-speed chase. We wrecked, and we got locked up. And I didn't know it, but God was doing something. That day when uh, you were in court, uh, you should have gone to prison. You should have gone to prison, but God stepped in. He and sure did. literally a miracle occurred there. 39 months in prison. So you went from 39 months to 10 days time served. On three felonies and a misdemeanor, that they knocked down to two misdemeanors as long as I graduated the program at the House of Hope. The House of Hope is a recovery home. They come in and they fight for you. They're gonna, go to, they're gonna be at court with you when you go to court. They teach you how to come out of that culture and into the normal world. It's a dream for someone like me. You know, House of Hope has been a partner with Renovation Church since we started five years ago. And we love um, being uh, a partner with them and seeing the success stories uh, here at House of Hope. And, uh, and you're one of those, Megan. So thank you. Thank y'all. I can't thank y'all enough. Can't thank everybody who you know partners with the House of Hope and Transform by the Word. Because without Jesus using them, I wouldn't be here. My, my children would not be here. You had already been told you would not see your kids again. They were going to take your rights. And my caseworker had actually informed Chaplain Costle that, and she said she had never in her entire career seen this happen. My custody was not taken. My rights were, were, were not removed, and they were closing my case. Another miracle. Yes, sir. And I didn't know this at the time when the children got placed with these people, but it was an abusive situation. So God was rescuing my children. So you've completed the inpatient program. Yes, sir. And now you're in transition to the outpatient program. Now they're transitioning me to learn to live in the real world. I'm actually doing an internship at the ministry. So when I finish the outpatient program, I can come work at the ministry. You're learning uh, to transition back into society. Mm -hmm. uh, you're learning those things here. Uh, you're learning how to, um, how to save money. Yes, sir. And you're earning money. And what are some of the things you're saving for? School stuff, a car, getting my license back. So you can have, a, have that life that you want for you and your children. Yes, sir. So Megan, you're learning how to uh, save money uh, so that you can buy some of the things that you need for yourself and so you can just start this life and be independent with your children. I know that's a dream of yours is to get some transportation after you get your license back. And so we would like to help with that. So we'd like to help part of your dream to become a reality. So I would like to present the keys to your new car. Megan. 
We have very generous people at Renovation Church, and it is such an honor to be able to help you today by presenting you this car so that you can fulfill that dream of creating that life for your family that, you wanted, that you've always wanted to have for you and for Tristan and for Brooklyn. Thank you. Sir. We love you. Love you. Thank you. I'm in shock right now. Like, it still amazes me the things God does. I can't quit looking at it. <laughs> I feel like a kid in the candy store. You know how God's given us so many blessings? Okay, well, God has given us another blessing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at Mommy. Do you remember how you kept asking Mommy when she was going to get a car? So you inside. So this is our car. Jesus did it, didn't he? Jesus. Absolutely. Thank you. Say okay, thank you, Renovation Church. Thank you, Renovation Church. For giving us a car. For giving us a car. We love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>